Welcome back, uh, Westy here. Okay, so um, welcome to part two of the Edge Router X tutorials. Okay, so now we're going to teach you how to connect to it. So there's a couple of things here. First of all, you need to plug in uh, into the back of your uh, Edge Router Max uh, X. Actually, there's a couple of cool things about this. Is uh, it comes with a power supply, a 24, uh, 12 volt, sorry, uh, power supply. Uh, but you can also switch in and put um, power over Ethernet uh, output on it or you can use a power injector and not worry about the 12 volt um, power supply and put the power injector or you can use an edge switch which has PoE and enable the, the um, power over Ethernet plug it into um, E0 and it'll power up the device and then you can still put on on the fourth port, which is F4, PoE out. You can still actually put an AP, a ubiquity AP, or, or pass through as long as it's actually uh, the same uh, power over Ethernet kind of configuration that ubiquity support. You could pretty much plug any device that supports that particular type of power over Ethernet into that port four and up it will come you don't need to actually have a separate power injector or a switch so it's really quite, quite for, for the hundred dollar value it's really really good quality so plug your computer directly into the uh, F0 or PoE input which I'm hovering around now on the screen uh, once you've plugged your computer straight into that, you'll notice that down the bottom here, I've got the um, a, a little oh, where we've got no internet access, which is you know pretty normal because we haven't configured anything yet. It's powered up because I've I've actually got the the 12 volt DC plugged into the back instead of the PoE in, um, and uh, basically we want to. We want to change your internet connectivity or your, your IP configuration on your Ethernet interface on your computer to be compatible with the ubiquity uh, network that's automatically created on the Edge router. So edge, the, on, on ubiquity normally sit on um, 192.168.1.1 as a management port for um, configuration. So you need to actually be on that network and I'll show you how to do that. So just come down here and I'm on Windows 10, click on the um, little computer screen with the, with the triangle warning exclamation mark and um, go to network, set, network and internet settings, change adapter options and then we're going to go to unidentified network, Ethernet, right click and go properties. Yes, we want to configure that, and now we want to go down to TCP IP v version 4, and it's automatically it's set up for automatic um, IP, uh, pretty much. This is what you had. normally have it on as IP address, obtain an IP address automatically, because you normally set up on DHCP. Um, so. We'll click over to obtain IP address, uh, a manual IP address. So I'm going to go uh, 192.168.1.4 to bring myself on the same network. Default gateway is 192.168.1.1, which is the device. And just click on OK and OK. So now I should be able to open up a, so if I go to, i cl click down on the window down the bottom down here and go CMD and for the command interface and go ping 4.2.2.2 it shows that we don't have any connectivity. Okay, so no internet, basically that proves you, proves that. Um, and if I go IP config, sorry, <laughs> IP config, congi, IP config space forward slash all, okay, 
let's see what okay so it's definitely got my 192.168.1.4 okay so I know that that's what my um, computer Ethernet interface is uh, broadcasting that's the address my computer's got all right so we'll close that out now so now we need to open up a browser uh, which happens to be on so I'll open a new page and go 192.168.1.1 um, this is not private go advanced proceed okay so we're in the edge max um, software so that proves that we're connected on the same network because it's seeing it so uh, username and password standard is uh, UBNT and UBNT uh, oops forget about the robo form uh, agree and login so now that's logging into the device and as you can see at the top here it's saying that the port 1 is active because that's what I'm connected through so um, it's been up for nine minutes uh, you can also click on CLI and it brings up this, the command line interface so it's really it's got really cool features so um, that's how you connect into the device and it, as you can see it gives you live um, activity coming in through um, over here oh, point with my mouse instead of my finger all right note to self all right um, so if we go to uh, wizards this is where we get some options here so we've got load balancing which is option one which is what I was talking about initially where you can have two internet service providers uh, one on fiber and one on ADSL or whatever um, and you can connect into this so that's quite cool uh, or you can do um, WAN plus two LANs or local area, local area networks and you can click on that and configure a second one or you can go uh, LAN plus 2L uh, what was that I'm just gonna check <laughs> I haven't done this one so um, okay so what it what this one does is it actually blends all the four ports together on F1, 2, 3 and 4 onto one LAN um, which is fine which is pretty much standard um, and, it, and it sets up internet on DHCP which is great automatically obtain network settings from internet service provider which is great and enable default firewall so we'll leave that we'll leave that we'll leave that and we'll go apply so it's going to apply the changes uh, congratulations configuration is updated successfully and I'm going to reboot it uh, and yes I'm sure so the system is going to go down um, it's going to uh, reboot and once it reboots it's going to not connect because what I need to do then is I need to go from I need to unplug my computer from this port here from there and plug it into my computer into F1 2 3 uh, one, two, or three, because I've got a, a, a ubiquity um, access point, and I'm going to plug it into there, and I'm going to set that up later, so that the PoE is in, is enabled, and that means that I don't have to power up my access point for wireless interface um, with a power injector, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to run one of these three ports, which you can, and uh, with my computer, and this one here, I'm going to plug my interface from my router uh, from my ISP uh, fiber connection straight into that port there which will give me internet connectivity and uh, an IP address in the DHCP server and then everything else it'll feed an IP address to each of these ports including this one and on and you and then I will show you how to in the next video I'll show you how to enable this port here for power over Ethernet at 24 volts for an access point, a ubiquity uh, access point or long range or whatever you need. Um, so I'm just going to, yep, so it's showing that there's no connection, I can't connect to it, which is normal, I expect that. Um, I'm just going to 
cut out here and I'll be back in a second I'll plug those ports in and out like I just showed you and we'll be back okay so once you've uh, swapped those ports over you can now go back into your internet settings properties yes and go to IPv4 and then just go back up to obtain automatic IP address okay um, so let's see what happens now I'll go to CMD IP config okay it's picked up a different address 1.38 so that's actually picked it up and I'll actually go to uh, we'll go to command prompt again and we'll ping 4.2.2.2 oops Mr. 2 okay so that proves that we've got internet so I'll just prove that again ping www.google.com and we're connecting to Google so now I should be able to bring up a web page apart from that one so let's just go here and go home we've got Google do a search for edge router okay cool so that proves we've got internet connectivity anyway um, okay we'll reload this oh, okay so we've had a bit of a crash there so I'll just open up uh, and go 192.168.1.1 oh why aren't we able to get in there that's weird okay that's very weird so I'm on the same network because we just proved that by looking here uh, see this IP config IP config We've got we're on the same network 192.168.1.38 um, so I should be able to okay I might have to reboot the router that's weird um, that should actually I should be able to talk directly to that router now because I'm on the same network it's given me an IP address um, I'm just going to try and close down the browser and connect into the network settings change network adapter I'm just going to disable it um, sorry disable it and then it should bring up the red box red X yep so then I'll now enable it again pick up an IP address and this here should disappear there you go, it's already picked it up, and we'll prove that by going into the command line, uh, com uh, command prompt, cmd, enter, ip, config. We'll get it right one day, yep, and it's given, it's given me a new lease of uh, 192.168.1.38. Um, so I'll open another browser window, and YouTube's obviously working, so I'll just go 192.168.1.1 and it's the UBNT tab UBNT and we're in. Okay, so now it's actually live, it's showing everything. Um, so that's how you connect in and get internet connectivity and get up and running. So I'm going to in the next video I'm going to cover um, connecting your um, PoE and getting that up and running for an AP unit for a access point um, ubiquity one and uh, we'll see how we go from there. All right, it's actually quite cool. Like up the top here, it shows you how much CPU of the actual device, not your computer, but the actual uh, device itself, how much RAM it uses. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, tools, bandwidth. Oh, you can even do bandwidth testing. So, that's cool. We'll have to do some looking into that to see what you know. You can do speed tests actually on the device. 
That's freaky. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, we've got QoS over here for quality of service. So you can prioritize traffic. Um, voice first, obviously, because that's the most data, uh, data timeout sensitive. And then you can, yeah, all sorts of cool stuff. All right. Um, so that's me and we will talk soon and we'll pretty much set this up so that I want to set up my um, AP next um, and configure the uh, power over ethernet configuration and we'll go through that shortly. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk the same. Cheers. Westy over now.